Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for March 2024. I hope everybody's doing well. I am going to take a second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Scorpio out there. So guys, if that's the case, just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for another Scorpio. Also, please keep in mind that the monthly readings are a bit predictive in nature. If these events aren't occurring right now, they may occur in the next few weeks. Spirit, what would you like Scorpio to know for the month of March? Scorpio. King of Pentacles. Interesting. All right. So, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, that would be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but you don't have to be. Now, this does indicate that your money is looking good, which I am pleased about. Um, it also is indicating something to do with commitment and stability. So, what's crossing it is the Three of Wands. Okay, so you're waiting. You're waiting for this. You might be waiting for um, an influx of money. Um, you might be waiting for a commitment from somebody. In the past, we've had the Five of Swords. Ouch. So in the past, maybe somebody was a little bit in their ego. Um, that's conflict, though, and it's an ugly conflict. While this is happening, is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, which indicates an impatience, and it also indicates that um, a little bit of a feeling of powerlessness here. So, what's on your mind is the Six of Swords, okay? So, you're thinking about moving moving um, away from a chaotic situation. You're looking for peace. You may be feeling guided towards this. What's happening for you in March is the Nine of Swords reversed. All this worry and concern is going to end. I'm glad of that. Beautiful. Let's see how you're showing up, Scorpio. Oh boy, Six of Cups reversed. So you're releasing your past. You're releasing something from your past or someone from your past. Show me the energy coming towards Scorpio. Yeah, so some of you guys might be in a connection that is, there's a lot of conflict and it gets really ugly. And you might be, you know, feeling kind of powerless, not knowing what to do. And so you might be you know, trying to plan out, hey, you know, this isn't healthy for me. Maybe I need to be moving away from this. What's coming towards you is the Page of Pentacles, and that is an offer. It's a brand new offer. It could be somebody new. It could be somebody younger. In Spirit's advice, we have the Tower in reverse. Spirit is saying... Do what you can to avoid a sudden upset, a sudden calamity. Now, let's see your outcome. Show me the outcome at the end of March. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Gaining clarity, narrowing down your options. And for some of you, this is unconditional love as well. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the world. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, guys, this is underlying energy, and it tells me that you are closing out some kind of a cycle so you can begin a new cycle. It looks like the, the cycle that you're closing out is somebody that you have had a lot, of, um, a lot of difficulty with, and you've been feeling a little powerless, but those days are almost over, and it looks like you have somebody new coming in here. So, let's clarify Spirit, why is the King of Pentacles here? It's the energy of starting over. Um, is the energy coming towards you guys? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Okay. So this is your outcome. And your outcome, um, you're getting clarity about this King of Pentacles. Now, this could be somebody that you are in a connection with already, but the connection, you know, has a lot of difficulties. You're waiting for passion. You're waiting for a new beginning. It's like you're waiting for someone to come and just sweep you off of your feet. King of Swords in the past. There could have even been legal implications to this connection. Um, somebody might... I, I, 
I don't know why I'm getting this because uh, it's not that direct, but what I'm getting is that somebody might have had charges pressed against them in the past. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is somebody who I do feel, you know, you had a lot of difficulty with. There was arguing, there was conflict, and somebody might have been a little bit in their ego and thought that they were exactly right, whether they were or they weren't. All right, Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So why is all this happening? Well, because you've been feeling kind of powerless here. You're growing impatient to put an end to this. You know it's going to be painful. So I see a painful ending coming, and I see you speaking your truth to this person. Why well, see Six of Swords here? Yeah, because you want new love. You want new love. You want to move away from this calamity, this all these problems, and you want new love. All right, so let's look at March for you. Spirit, show me March for Scorpio. Show me March for Scorpio. That card was determined to come out. Show me March for Scorpio. All right, you have the Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, the Hangman, Eight of Cups Reverse, Temperance Reverse, Pisces, Sagittarius Energy, Nine of Cups, Strength Card Reversed, Leo, Five of Coins, Six of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords. Queen of Cups. And that would be you. And the Two of Wands. Now, this the Two of Wands is a card that was just determined to come out. It, it flipped over three or four times. You know, like, look at me, look at me. Get, it definitely got my attention. Um, let's see. I believe that goes there as well. Ten of coins. All right, so Scorpio, I see you going into the month of March. There's a lot of problems here, and you're overwhelmed. There's a sense of being overwhelmed. I can see that you have lost sleep. You've worried. You've been stressing and overthinking everything. So I see you going into the month of March wanting a change, a dramatic change. You want things to begin to move in a more favorable manner. You want to move away from all these problems. However, you're having to wait. There's some reason I'm seeing in the first week that you're kind of having to be patient. You're having to wait here. You're, you're not able to walk away from this and have that big change right away. But even though you're not, um, you may not feel like it, that's actually working in your favor. It may not feel like it in the early part of March, but it truthfully is um, because healing is coming. I do see that, and you are going to get what you want, but I do see that in the second week, there's this energy of needing to heal. There's a lot of emotional imbalance. It's related to, to not being able to walk away and to the, the fact that you're having to wait. Um, I think that's going to be very difficult for you. Um, by the middle of the month, I do see you beginning to get what it is that you want here. You have some wish fulfillment coming through in the middle of the month, but along with it comes these fears, okay? So these are big changes that you're going through, and I do feel like it, it's causing a bit of unbalance or imbalance, and I, I also feel like you're very focused on what it is that you want. So that's that's a positive thing. I do see in the um, in the third week, there's some rejection or abandonment of some sort. Um, or you may fear that. But 
I, it's unclear to me if you're walking away from somebody and and they're feeling rejected and abandoned or if it's you because it feels like it's your energy. There's something in the third week that's making you feel, it's bringing up your fears. It's bringing up fear of abandonment, fear of rejection. So it could be this new connection here as well. I am still seeing this stuck energy and I see um, in the third week, I see in the fourth week you having a very forthright conversation with somebody. And this conversation actually goes very well. I feel like you're happy with the conversation. It, it goes very well. And this is a conversation that makes you feel like you are now seated in your power. You're taking your power back after having been stuck for quite some time. You get that clarity and that truth. It's somehow connected to this feel, these, the fear of rejection. So you may be wondering with somebody new that's coming into your energy, are they really even interested in you? But there's this conversation that really kind of puts you back in your power in the fourth week. And you are beginning to look at long-term goals. Um, and I see you by the end of the month choosing to go in another direction. I see you making plans and these are long-term plans. Um, I don't necessarily see the shift happening just yet for you. It looks like you're still kind of in a little bit of this stagnant stuck energy, but receiving this clarification through this conversation changes your perspective and that changes everything. All right, so let's look at your energy here, Scorpio. Show me Scorpio's energy in this reading. Yeah, there it is, the Fool in Reverse. Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So in your energy, you're all about letting the past go, releasing the past. Yeah, letting go of this, um, this, this King of Pentacles. And look, at the bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So you're letting this person go. You're releasing this person. Now, you, there's a new beginning that's trying to happen, but you're holding it off. Part of that is due to this fear that I'm seeing, but part of it is because you want to become single and independent before you turn your focus back to love. You want to learn the lessons from the past. You don't want to repeat the same patterns over and over. And I have to say, Scorpio, that is really good energy. So you want to get on your feet. You want to be independent. You want to feel good about yourself before you refocus your attention on matters of the heart. So I think that's very positive. Now let's see this energy coming towards you. Could be a younger earth sign. Doesn't have to be though. All right, we have the queen of wands. <laughs> Page of pentacles again. Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands Reverse. So I feel like you guys have both younger and older people that are very interested in you. Um, you have multiple people that are coming towards you as well. So uh, the first one that I'm seeing is maybe somebody who might be a little bit younger than you, possibly an earth sign, but doesn't have to be. Um, they could also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person that's coming towards you, um, they this is something brand new. They're studying you. They're trying to figure you out. They want to offer you everything, stability, but they only have a little bit to offer. Um, and so I do feel that that person, <laughs> they, they have lofty goals, but um, they may, they may not be yet in a position where they have a whole lot to offer. I'm also seeing the energy of somebody, um, maybe a fire sign, doesn't have to be, but this is somebody who is a little bit older and this person is um, definitely accomplished. They could be a entrepreneur on their own business. They could be a manager. They're in a position where people listen to what they have to say. Um, some, there's something about people following them, listening to them. This is somebody who is extremely charismatic 
and they're going to offer a small amount initially, but it's going to quickly grow. And this is somebody who does have a lot to offer. Um, the third person that I'm seeing is, looks like a younger fire sign who is not in the best of energy. Um, be very careful with this person because it looks like this person might be only offering, and they don't have to be a fire sign, but they're, they're probably going to be younger. Um, but this person is somebody who is only offering, you know, like physical attraction. They're very attracted to me or to you, don't get me wrong, but... And they may even come off as saying, yeah, I want a relationship, blah, blah, blah. But in truth, they're not, they're not being exactly forthcoming. They're not being completely truthful. So be aware of that. But you've got several people here in your energy. All right, let's see Spirit's advice. Right, we have the Four of Cups reversed. We have the Knight of Cups reversed and the Two of Coins. So Spirit is saying, you know, that you have to avoid this tower moment. You need to avoid a sudden calamities here. Um, and how do you go about doing that? Well, you, you kind of need to be a little bit reserved with matters of the heart until you find your balance, which is exactly the energy that I'm seeing here. Um, there is a missed opportunity that is here, um, and I do feel like there was a tower moment with that person, and Spirit is saying you have to rebuild yourself, you have to put yourself back together, and to focus more on finding your balance, not, not on these love offers just yet. Now, let's look at your outcome. We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So, you're basically being guided to, you know, rebuild yourself. Put yourself together here and, you know, um, find your balance before you begin to move forward. All right. So, we have Justice in reverse. Sign of Libra. The Magician in reverse. Gemini. The Death card. Scorpio. We have the Ten of Cups reversed and the Queen of Swords. All right. So, strong Libras here. All right. So, at the end of the month, I do see that there could possibly be some court action that is taking place here. It's either unresolved by the end of the month or it's not going um, favorably. You might be needing to look at some options with regard to that. Um, I am seeing that you are cutting someone out. Your energy is one that you... You're not happy with somebody or somebody's not happy with you. So boundaries are going up. I feel like it's somebody who's not happy with you and they're putting up these boundaries because they're unhappy. They feel they feel like you're not treating them properly, that you're not giving them the justice that they deserve. Um, there could be legal, legal issues with this person. Um, for you, I do feel that you are stepping into your power. Um, be careful about how you're manifesting because there's something here about you trying to manifest and it's not coming through. And it's because of the energy. The energy is one that has had confusion and injustice in it. So be careful with that because um, you want to manifest from a place of power. I do see you ending something. I see you... Um, the person you're ending something with, you're perceiving this person as being very manipulative and having not treated you correctly. Um, I do feel like this person in your energy is going to want to talk with you. They're open to talking to you, but at the same time, they will cut you off in an instant. They're not a very happy camper right now. So, I do see possibility of legal implications for some of you, and if it's not legal, it's just a sense of injustice here. All right, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Coins. And that tells me that you're putting the work in. That's underlying energy. You're putting the work in. You're looking at all the details. And I, I feel like it's, oh, look at that. We have the High Priestess just hanging out here. Okay. Yeah, so use your intuition in this in this process with this person. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So use your intuition. There's things that you don't quite know. Um, this other person could be keeping some secrets that will affect legal uh, legal issues as well. But you need to follow your intuition here because that's where your power lies. 
All right, so let's pull an Oracle card for you. Uh-oh, we're not doing that. Let's take a little shuffle. All right, for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we've got. All right, you've got Wishing Well. Now, it did come in the reverse, and in this deck we do, this Oracle deck, we do re reversals. So, let me pull that up for you. All right, so the essential meaning of this card is desire is a sacred impulse for life. Feel it, but let go of all attachment to ownership. So in the reversal, it says, this is not the time to force anything to happen in your life, especially whatever seems to be eluding you. You can't demand that the universe provide you with what you want. Unmet desires can burst into a destructive fire of obsession. Step back, breathe, and take your attention away from what you want. Ask instead for what you need. Only the unseen knows how to align desire, inspiration, and its manifest form. As a coin disappears into the mystery of the dark pool at the bottom of the well, have faith. Don't engage in wishful thinking. You must co-create with spirit, not make demands. You may yet get what you want. Never forget that life is filled with choices. Make a wish but be open to the enchanted way in which spirit fulfills your desire. Yeah, I like that. So, you know, you're going through a lot of changes here. And so you're going to have to learn. And so you're having difficulty with these manifestations. What you have to learn how to do, Scorpio, is not making demands of the universe um, that it must be this way, but to co-create and to move with that ebb and flow. All right, I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Until I see you in your weekly readings, namaste.